Hi, I'm Leila Jaralu, designer and sociologist, extremely excited to be presenting this series of educational resources on the circular classroom. so much energy and excitement right now around redesigning our systems so that they work better for all of us, whether it be products, even the education system. And this whole series of resources, the videos, this one you're watching, the ones designed for in the classroom, and the specifically designed in-class activities and real-world activations that we've created as part of this entire package is designed to help you. Help you as a teacher, as a parent, as a facilitator, as someone just interested and curious in the way to think differently about the world's problems. And of course, it's opportunities. And that's really what this is about. The three videos that we've produced on the circular economy, on systems and sustainability and design and creativity are all designed within a broader package of resources. Things that are designed to challenge to make you think differently, such as the resources that we created, as well as the activities and suggested further explorations. But this is the most exciting thing about the Circular Classroom. It's about you guys. So whilst I've been doing this for a long time and I'm extremely passionate, this is new. A lot of this content, whilst we've been researching and exploring the way we can design things in more sustainable ways, the content that's gonna help us really do this work design the products, make the systems change, that's gonna take everybody working together. Whether that be how we choose to excite and motivate the young people we get to work with, or whether that be through the collaborations and activations that we choose to take on in our professional lives. The opportunity here is to not only engage with this new type of thinking, but the new type of doing. Because the future is undefined, it's made up based on the actions of today. And you, me, and everybody else has this opportunity now to start to redesign the world in more sustainable and regenerative ways. So each of the different modules, they come with the video that's designed to kind of inspire conversation in the classroom and to help you think differently. And then we have all of the different resources that come along with each package. What you'll find is uh, a whole workbook that has a different uh, type of design narrative and icons and language that can help you ignite this conversation in your classroom. But also it has the activities. There are a series of activities they're all designed to be done within a short period or a longer period. So whether you want to actually have a week or a month long uh, experimental research project with your students, but also the short ones that are designed tactile in the classroom, they're really easy to do and they're very, very, very strong from a pedagogical perspective. A lot of my work has been in designing change. I have a PhD in how to design change in the world. Um, and I do a lot of work around the cognitive experiences of pedagogy. And so a lot of these resources have been tried and tested by myself and other colleagues. And, but I would also love to hear your feedback on how they worked in your classroom, whether it be doing the product autopsy or the consumption diaries. All of these activities are designed to help you ignite the conversation, the passion and the learning experience in that very rich and deep way. I've actually written a little bit more about pedagogy and the work that I try to do to challenge more experiential education. You're welcome to go and research that and find out more. But for you guys, the point of this whole series of resources is that you can start the conversation and in a short period of time, you can really start to engage your students to think differently and ignite hopefully their passion for a more sustainable world. You'll notice a lot of the activities are quite playful. Uh, they're also designed to be very tactile or conversational to activate different parts of the brain so that the students are actually really engaged viscerally and cognitively in the challenges that we have when we're looking at thinking differently about the economy and the way we produce things in the material world. But also the thing about design and creativity is it's fun and everybody loves doing it and everybody can do it. So what we've done with these resources is to really give you the tools so that you can plan your lessons, integrate some of these more playful based experiences, or even just show the video and give the students the web link. At the end of the day, if your students are ignited and they're activated, they're gonna be more willing to learn about all of the other wonderful things you're teaching them. One of the big challenges with this project is to actually develop more content. So what we're really giving over to you is this challenge to design uh, collaborative content with your students or your peers. The idea is that you would produce content based on your own research, whether it be around micro actions that you can do in your own school or your community, or encouraging the students to do take home work, whether they research projects and then even develop their own initiatives. 
and then find ways of communicating that out into the world, whether you release content on Instagram or on YouTube using the hashtag Circular Classroom. I'm super excited to see all of the brilliant ideas that will emerge out of this project because this is the most exciting thing, is that young people these days they're desperately passionate to contribute to the world. They're smart and eager. They have the resources at their fingertips. We just need to help give them the ignition and the tools to take that willingness into action and to really start to see things as a collaboration, to see all of the problems that we have as just opportunities in disguise for creating solutions that will help make the future work better than today. What are we gonna call the robot? Bad design. The planet is cool. You should love it too.